Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw Tom from Tom and Jerry. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a bowl, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the circle, draw a horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Curve the line so that it contours to the shape of the circle. Now draw a curved vertical line close to the right edge of the circle for another construction guide. On the top left side of the circle, draw a triangular shape as a guide for the first ear. This shape is made up of a diagonal line on the left side and a curved line at the top. On top of the head, draw a smaller triangular shape as a guide for the other ear. This shape is made up of a vertical line on the right side and a curved line on the left side. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. On the lower right side of where the construction lines intersect, lightly sketch a small triangle for the nose. Pay attention to the size of this triangle in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the nose right, darken the shape. Make the top edge and top corners of the triangle slightly more curved as you darken the shape. Make the bottom corner of the triangle pointy. On top of the nose, draw a short line that curves to the right for the first part of the muzzle. This line should end at the edge of the initial circle. Draw another short line that curves to the left for more of the muzzle. Follow the basic path of the horizontal construction guide as you draw these lines. Continue to draw the line on the right downward along the edge of the circle and then curve it to the left. Farther to the left, draw a long curved horizontal line for the top part of the open mouth. Draw a shorter curved line on the top left side of the muzzle. To the left of the muzzle and the mouth, draw a long curved line for the cheek. The line for the cheek should be similar to the letter U on its side. High above the muzzle, make a small mark to indicate the top edge of the first eye. Now connect the small mark to the muzzle using long curved lines to finish the shape of the eye. The shape of the eye should be a long thin arc. Place the eye to the left of the vertical construction guide. To the right, draw the other eye the same way. First make a small mark at the top to indicate the top edge of the eye, and then connect the mark to the muzzle using curved lines to finish the shape. Place this eye to the right of the vertical construction guide. This eye should be slightly thinner than the eye on the left. Inside the eyes, draw smaller arcs for the irises. Place the irises on the lower left side of the eyes. The iris on the right should be slightly thinner than the iris on the left. Inside each iris, draw even smaller arcs for the pupils. Inside the pupils, draw tiny circles for highlights. Now shade the pupils. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circles as you shade the pupils. Under the muzzle, draw a long curved line for the open mouth. Make the top part of the mouth wide and the bottom narrow. The bottom part of the mouth should be close to the lower edge of the initial circle. Inside the mouth, at the bottom, draw two short curved lines for the tongue. 
Below the open mouth, draw a short curved horizontal line for the bottom lip. Place this line outside of the edge of the initial circle. Draw a line from the lip to the muzzle for the lower side of the face. On the left side, draw a line from the cheek to the lip or the other side of the face. Break up the line into shorter curved lines for detail on the fur. Above the eye on the left, draw a curved shape for the first eyebrow. The shape of the eyebrow is made up of two curved horizontal lines. The eyebrow should be similar to a crescent moon on its side. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Above the eye on the right, draw a similar shape for the other eyebrow. This eyebrow should also be similar to a crescent moon on its side, but it should be smaller. Between the eyes at the top, draw three small arcs for fur. Make the arc in the middle bigger than the arcs on the sides. Add a few short curved lines above the eyebrows for wrinkles. On top of the head, draw a couple of thin pointy shapes for clumps of fur. These shapes are made up of sloping curved lines. Darken the top right edge of the circle to create the shape of the head. Curve the line on the right inward as you darken the shape. Draw a curved line to the right of the muzzle outside of the initial circle for the cheek. Break up the line for the cheek into smaller jagged lines for the fur. On the left side, follow the basic path of the initial circle to create the side of the head. Draw the bottom part of this shape inside the initial circle. The left part of this shape should be outside of the circular guide. The top part should be inside the circle, near the horizontal construction guide. Sketch lightly at first to get the shape right. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Use the triangular shape on the top left side as a guide to draw the first ear. Darken the top part of the guide for the outer edge of the ear. Below that, draw another curved sloping line for the opening of the ear. At the bottom, draw a series of small angled shapes for fur. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Draw a wavy line along the guide on the left for the outer edge of the ear. Now darken the triangular shape on top of the head to finish the other ear. Add an extra curved line in the middle of the shape for the opening of the ear. Slightly to the right, draw another curved line for the outer edge of the ear. Now go over the final lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. Add a couple of long strokes on the sides of the muzzle for whiskers. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. And now color your drawing. Color the main part of the head dark gray and the area between the eyes light gray. Use pink for the inside of the ears and the tongue. Color the eyebrows and the nose black, but leave a sliver on the nose blank for a highlight. Use yellow for the eyes, green for the irises, and dark red for the inside of the mouth. And that's it for Tom. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. 
Also, please visit easydrawingtutorials.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.